Now we can make Happy Meals at home! Yeah. Yay! Make your own Happy Meals Tasty snacks that look so real McDonald's Happy Meal Magic I'm so excited. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I balled out once again and bought the McDonald's snack maker and french fry maker from 1993. The same year I was born. Yes, I'm almost 30 and playing with McDonald's toys. Um, I got this on eBay. It has been used. There was an option for one that never had been opened, but it was $350. Could spend that on more important things, like lip injections. But I'm actually not worried about it being that old because McDonald's, they know how to keep stuff fresh. There was a girl on TikTok who kept a burger of theirs in her closet for 20 years. The bread has never molded. The meat has never rotted. It's never even broken. It's completely intact. After 20 years, it looked exactly the same. Probably tasted exactly the same. They know how to keep stuff fresh and good. It's a good thing that a burger doesn't grow mold in two decades. That's great. I think this is ev- <laughs> I think this is everything. I didn't get scammed. But is this discontinued product still gonna be able to deliver me the results that I'm after? Hopefully. Since this has been used, um, should I clean it? Like part of me is thinking it's fine. I don't know what these black crusties are. I should wash this. Cause like, what if they cooked meth in this? You never know. I don't want to do meth today. Wait. This is sticky. Ew. Huh? I just went and pee. Why is this so hard? I'm just literally on the verge of like a mental breakdown. Girl. Mom, I don't know how to set up the McDonald's machine. <laughs> I don't care if you're at work. Quit and help me set up the McDonald's toy maker. She hung up. Okay, I am not going to Christmas. 30 years ago, actual kids played with this. So let's say they were eight back then. Now they're 38. Are they still alive even, do you think? Wait, they didn't die, right? I don't want this to be haunted. I wonder if they're happy. Are they in a divorce? Are they a cheater? Are they hooking up with someone at the bowling alley every Thursday and their spouse doesn't know? You know what? We'll never know the answer to those questions. Aww, so cute. This would honestly be a look if like Dua Lipa had this on the red carpet. Wouldn't it honestly be? They should collab with Chanel. Let's get to cooking, honey. Then <laughs> I would just break the couch. I'm done. Got to fill up the hamburger bun tray. So the whole idea behind this toy was make stuff that looks like McDonald's food from stuff you already have laying around your house. You can turn everyday foods into delicious snacks. Fill up the mustard. This is frosting, not mustard. Fill up the ketchup. This is frosting as well, just so you know. I'm ready to munch. The base for our McCheeseburgers is peanut butter. Add some peanut butter to the hamburger maker. Oh, maybe I added a little bit too much. Wait, why isn't it going? Oh, sh dang, dang. I have to clean this again. I'm sorry, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> Add a little bit of peanut butter to the bottom of this. Is that a teaspoon? Yeah. Basically. Wait, how do you do this? Only one side's attached. Oh my God. No wonder why this is discontinued. This gave so many kids literal anxiety. It's not on right, but whatever. Okay, we're supposed to add one teaspoon of Nesquik. How much of Rice Krispies am I supposed to add in? Our burger is being made, as you can see. Tear me on a piece Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate that? <laughs> <laughs> That ended up flopping, so time for attempt number three. I watched a tutorial on how to use this thing. I'm missing a lot of parts, it turns out. And don't worry, guys, I am gonna take the eBay seller I bought this from to Judge Judy at a later date. I'll probably vlog the whole thing, so subscribe. I'm, I'm definitely gonna get... It. This will be sorted out. They will not get away with this. And do not think for a single second that I'm gonna let this go. That being said, we're all in a good mood. Happy meal time! Let's um, let's do this. There's supposed to be a little thing down here that clogs the hamburger machine. I guess I'm gonna have to just put my finger there because we got scammed. I'm not gonna keep talking about it, but we got scammed. There also is supposed to be a part where you shove the ingredients in. <laughs> Don't have that. So Jacob's gonna have to do it, I guess. You just put your finger in the machine. I'll make sure not to cut up your fingers. All right, we're making it work. Teamwork makes the dream work. Ow! Oh, I actually believed you. If I made you lose your finger, I would never forgive myself. Just kidding, I'd probably get over it within like two weeks. People move on. I guess I'm supposed to do this 20 times. I haven't been counting crap. Whatever. I have to count now? What else do I have to do, Ronald McDonald? He's scary. Thank God they stopped showing him. He had issues. 
I got issues, you've got them too. Okay, whatever, I'm gonna start loading up the burger now. Girl, are you kidding me? Like, that's not supposed to be what comes out of the effing patty machine. And I followed all the directions, so I, if you're about to comment saying I didn't, frick! Whatever, I'm just gonna have to make a patty myself. This isn't what it's supposed to be! Yummy patties being made. Add it to the little thing, the fryer. Should I just make another one right now? <laughs> this is disgusting. I'm not giving up. It's all gonna be okay. Everything in the end will be okay. Ignore how disgusting my fingers look. I actually made a little patty. There's actually a little fryer sound effect. You know, that doesn't sound like frying, but it's something. Watch it fry, guys. Oh, you know what's been cooking in the oven? Our buns, yay! Let's add some ketchup. Who likes mustard out there? Comment below. Mm. We also have to add some condiments to the burgers. So luckily in our little fridge drawer, we have some tomato. It's always good to add vegetables to your burgers. Not only that, but don't forget the lettuce. First burger down. Once I'm done making the french fries and we have a complete happy meal, I'll be taste testing these. So don't you even worry. For this one, I actually want to go down a little bit of a different route. I'm gonna add some pepper. Girl, what? Have a more traditional McDouble. Put that in there. I feel like at McDonald's they have a very specific way of wrapping them up. That involves like geometric equations, but that's as good as we'll do. A Happy Meal wouldn't be complete without a french fry maker. Our french fries are gonna be made out of white Wonder Bread, classic vintage. It's been that girl since like the 1940s, I'm guessing. I don't know, Marilyn Monroe ate this. I bet. Take the piece of white bread. We don't want any crust in our fries. Aren't there parents out there who like don't have their kids eat crust? Our parents always force us to eat crust. That means that I do have to admit Uncrustables, they do slam. But then again, they have crust. That's the scam of it all. Uncrustables have crust. You can't tell me that little part isn't crust. You got scammed. There's a lot going on in my workspace. So I think all we do for this, put this down here, I think. Is it working? Shut up. Oh, I might have make this for dinner every night. Oh, just look at that. <laughs> Why does the couch almost keep breaking? If you zoom into this um, cinnamon shaker, you can see unknown crusties. Yay. And I filled it up with some cinnamon. That looks good actually. And isn't like cinnamon a superfood? This is actually like really good for you. Add in some pepper. Your order's ready, honey. Oh my gosh, thank you. I also ordered another one, by the way. Yeah, I know. I already saw it on the screen. You don't have to remind me. Um, here you go. Thank you. I'm excited to eat these. <laughs> All right, you can drive off. Okay, I will. So first of all, let's try the one that's actually how they wanted us to eat it. Oh, after all that hard work, I'm excited I can have a good meal now. Let's see how these fries are. They're obviously not as good as real McDonald's fries, but you know, they're kind of good. Wanna try one, cameraman? If you added sugar, they'd be good. Oh yeah, actually, that, that was actually in the instructions, adding cinnamon sugar, but I just didn't really have any sugar, but. Here's a little burger. Mmm. I'm not even kidding, this is like really good. Oh. I just realized like a lot of you guys might actually really love seeing a giant man eat tiny things. Maybe I'll start a Patreon of that. Giant man eats tiny things for $65 a month. Comment below if you'd be interested. Try a bite. Like it actually slaps. Okay, let's get into my DIY version. A little bit of a pepper twist. Wait, it actually is good. You know those weird food combination videos where people mix the most disgusting things? I think I might have just created one. Peanut butter, Nesquik, Rice Krispies, and pepper. Yeah, the pepper adds. Yeah, I can taste the pepper, but it's not ghost. No, it adds to it. Okay, now for some pepper fries. These are a flop. <laughs> Why am I trying bread with pepper on it? <laughs> I know, like it's gonna be something crazy. Yep, tastes like bread with pepper. See you on the flip side. Bye.